The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the letter to the Hebrews. It was not under angels that he put the world to come, about which we are speaking. Someone witnesses to this, somewhere with these words. What are human beings that you spare a thought for them? A child of Adam that you care for him. For a short while, you made him less than the angels. You have crowned him with glory and honor. Put all things under his feet. For in putting all things under him, he made no exceptions. At present, it is true, we are not able to see that all things are under him. But we do see Jesus, who was for a short while made less than the angels, now crowned with glory and honor, because he submitted to death. So that by God's grace, his experience of death should benefit all humanity. It was fitting that God, for whom and through whom everything exists, should, in bringing many sons to glory, make perfect through suffering the leader of their salvation. For consecrator and consecrated are all of the same stock. That is why he is not ashamed to call them brothers in this text. I shall proclaim your name to my brothers, praise you in full assembly. And our response is taken from Psalm 8. Even through the mouths of children, or of babes in arms, you make him a fortress, firm against your foes, to subdue the enemy and the rebel. Yet, you have made him little less than a god. You have crowned him with glory and beauty made him Lord of the works of your hands. Put all things under his feet, sheep and cattle, all of them, and even the wild beast, birds in the sky, fish in the sea, when he makes his way across the ocean. Yahweh our Lord, how majestic is your name throughout the whole world. A reading from the Holy Gospel, according to St. Mark. They went as far as Capernaum, and at once, on the Sabbath, Jesus went into the synagogue and began to teach. And his teaching made a deep impression on them because, unlike the scribes, he taught them with authority. And at once in their synagogue, there was a man with an unclean spirit, and he shouted out, what do you want with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked it, saying, Be quiet, come out of him. And the unclean spirit threw the man into convulsions, and with a loud cry went out of him. The people were so astonished that they started asking one another what it all meant, saying, here is a teaching that is new, and with authority behind it. He gives orders even to unclean spirits, and they obey him. And his reputation at once spread everywhere through all the surrounding Galilean countryside. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus.